Columbus's log has been made available to the History Channel by archivists at Fordham University, custodian of a rare handwritten copy of the journal. Entries on both September 17th and September 20th indicate that stars or other unidentified lights in the sky are seen to move. The cause was that the star moved from its place, but the needles remained stationary. And from the infamous entry of October 11th. At about 10 p.m. on the 11th of October, 1492, the anxious explorer was on the deck of the Santa Maria when he saw a light glimmering at a great distance. Columbus wrote, the admiral standing on the quarter deck saw a light. Calling to Pero Gutierrez, he told him he saw a light and bid him look that way, which he did and saw it. The admiral again perceived it once or twice, appearing like the light of a wax candle moving up and down. Summoning another member of the crew, the two watched as the light vanished and reappeared repeatedly. Seeing lights in the water isn't really an anomaly. This light actually traveled along with the ship. Columbus noted in the log a glowing object rise out of the water and head off into the atmosphere. What did Columbus's men see? What they saw was a luminous object that upon breaking the water's surface became a UFO. To UFO researchers like Bill Burns, Columbus's sighting is significant. Not only because of when it occurred, but also because the object was spotted coming out of the sea, ruling out the possibility that what he saw was a comet or a shooting star. What's intriguing is that this was in what we call today the Bermuda Triangle. This event is extremely important because it is the world's first recorded event that illustrates the appearance of UFO as object emerging from the water. If Columbus's sighting was so extraordinary, why do we only find record of it in his log? Some believe another account of this event exists in the official records of the Spanish Inquisition. UFO researcher Maximilian de Lafayette claims that Columbus's shipmate, Pedro Gutierrez, reported him to the Inquisition. Welcome to the desert of the real.